Okay, welcome to week five. So hopefully this finds you enjoying some sunshine. It's, um, it's spring break for a lot of people. Hopefully you're enjoying it if it's yours. And if it is yours, you can just turn this week's assignments in next week. Um, this week we are going to read chapter nine and we're going to talk about political parties. And in the chapter it discusses that we primarily have a two party system. Um, George Washington, the first president, detested, despised political parties. He felt they would become factions, they would be divisive, and that they would cause a lot of problems. So as you're reading the chapter this week, remember George Washington. Also something interesting is third parties have trouble getting traction. So like in 1992, Ross Perot ran for president as a third party candidate against Bill Clinton and George Herbert Walker Bush, the 41st president of the United States. And he did not, he didn't win any electoral votes. And the consensus is that he largely just pulled votes from Bush. So um, this year we have a third party candidate, Robert F. Kennedy Jr is running as an independent. And so it'll be interesting to see what his impact is. Analysts think maybe he'll pull from Biden, but we really have never, we've not had a third party candidate for president be victorious. Even Teddy Roosevelt, as popular as he was when he ran on a third party platform, he was unsuccessful. So our party, our system is just really geared toward that two party system. So question 16 in your reflection assignment lets you ponder what you think about third parties and I'm excited to see what you have to say. Also, there will be a quiz and I'll have it live by tomorrow night. So let me know if you have any questions and have a great week.